please leave a message after the tone. You've got seven questions due. Your life is going down the tubes. What do you do when you need advice? Mr. it's good. Good night. What am I fighting for? So turn down the lights, pick up the phone, and leave a message for the new class. After dark. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Nude Clan After Dark. Why did you just turn up my headphones? I didn't. You did. You just turned mine down. No, you, that's that's connected to mine. See, it's like right there. No, this one is this one, Greg. What? Yeah, what? see? Oh, God. Yeah, okay, see, see how you're that. getting fucked? Yeah, yeah. Right. It looks like it's, it's not it's right. It's directly in front of the cord that goes to but, mine. So but I'd... this one is the cord that goes to the the computer, so it can't be... Compa- it's not that... I know what you mean, but... Okay. I was like, pretty sure I heard it get louder and quieter when you fucked with it. Uh, anyway, guys, today, last After Dark of the year, um, it won't come out. No, I can put it out on the 31st. I forgot to put out last week's After Dark. I still haven't put it out yet. Oh, my God. I forgot partially, and then I also didn't have internet connection until today, and I couldn't have time to do anything about it until now. So, annoying, but hey, we're here. We're we're queer, and... uh, Get used to it. Yeah, get used to it. Well, don't get used to it. But, so, here's here's the thing. We're going to do, we have one question, and then we decided we're going to talk a little bit about, like, Cameron and I have some ideas for some things we want to do next year. Um, Yeah. So kind of some getting fat goals, and we're going to talk about the future of After Dark. Uh, we have a couple ideas to kind of switch things up a little bit um, so that it's not so reliant on questions from you guys, which are great, of course, but they're not always plentiful enough to, no. to populate you the fucks. show. Yeah. It's almost like you don't want our advice. Yeah. How maybe. are we supposed to take that? Yeah. How, well, maybe we just don't release the episodes ever. If you don't give us anything, we just don't record it. Yeah, we had that goal for an extra episode once we hit a certain patron, but uh, when does this no longer become uh, economic for our time being used? Yeah, when exactly. we only have an X amount of lis- listens, X amount of... Didn't uh, we fall below that goal a little bit ago? Yeah, we did, yeah. It kind of like goes um, ebbs and flows. Maybe, maybe it just goes away. <laughs> <laughs> the weeks where we, we don't have above that goal, the show doesn't come out, but then the weeks that we do, a show comes out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we'll start getting really evil about it. <laughs> it's like, well, we hit it, yeah, but we're not hitting it now, so you're not listening to it. We'll record it in secret, and then we'll release Yeah, we'll, we'll still have episodes. We'll just like... We'll release like 30 of them at a time when we finally get back up there. <laughs> just like fucking After Dark, like... 70 through 100 just all in like one day no we gotta like trickle it out so they keep paying oh yeah there you go we can't can't be a one time buy I mean come on guys it's uh it's we, up to you do, if you want this, the show to stay out yeah we do this for you exactly do so. something for us exactly do something for us it's not it's like it's, you know we didn't want to have a weekend you know uh, it's not like you know yeah it's been pretty nice it's, it's our it's our time that we devote to you guys yeah and then uh, we have to record for longer. I mean, we do get to hang out longer now because of it, but yeah. Schweiss doesn't have a weekend anymore. No, my weekend is the start of you guys' week, so it makes it hard to do anything. And you know what? Like last week, super nice. We got to go shooting. We had a lot of fun you yeah. know, doing some good stuff. And it's It was like, good. Could be doing that instead, <clears throat> but we're here. Even though I don't have a weekend, we could be doing that right now. It's true. Yeah. So uh, pay up, motherfuckers. All right, let's see what we have uh, from from you guys, you lovely motherfuckers here. The girl I really care about is making some poor decisions. So there's this girl in my life that I care about immensely. A few days ago, she told me she chugged a bunch of cough syrup to get high on it. Apparently, she did it again yesterday. I think she is doing it to reduce her stress, which she has a lot because of various school things and a stressful home life. I really Are you to reading this off? I know, paper. I was about to say I that. Other friends go down the same slope, and I felt powerless to stop it. Any advice on how to get her to stop drinking this kind of thing, or ways to reduce stress without drugs? 
Thank you in advance. <laughs> uh, I, f- I feel like it, it uh, sounds like you're you're reading a prompt. Um, yeah, well, was there like an after school special you saw? It was like oh, you know what that kind you of know, pertains to some, me. Some people do have a, you know anxiety when it's time to uh, you know it's talk in front of people and they do want to write down their thoughts so they get it all out. And uh, certain people at this table do lack the ability to read very engagingly off of. Uh, well, I'm sorry I don't fucking read out loud all the goddamn Off time of it. to, well, to I be mean, used to it and to have the ability to do it. Because that's a thing, that's a skill that you develop by doing it a lot, and I don't do it a lot. Well, so fuck you guys. Who, who does it a lot here, though? Like, yeah. I mean, I've, I guess I've podcasted for you, way more. You've done it a shitload with the fucking uh, uh, getting, uh, the super sexy. You had to read those fucking things oh, and then true. and then do it out loud. So yeah, you have experience doing it. It's oh. a thing that it developed over time because Start, you had to do that. Well, yeah, so but go fuck yourself. And why was I doing it the whole time? I don't know why you're getting why, 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 weren't, why weren't either of you doing don't it? Don't look why, at me. Why would you make me do it? And then fucking make fun of me well, constantly for doing it. Well, we're trying to build you up by making you do it. You yeah, just I'm barely... Sure, I'm sure that's the reason. You just barely provided the, the cure for your disease, Craig. You said, oh, well, you can do it because you spent so many hours doing it. Well, it's I'm like, not going to well, fucking practice. Well, why, why not? It's just, it's the same fucking thing with Joe. You're like, well, why'd you buy a drum set? You don't play drums. It's like, well, well I, I can't play it if I don't have it. I know he's not going to do it. That's why. You know, oh, my you know, God. You know, Chris. I'm, I, you, is Joe playing the no, drums? No, he sold it. He sold it. Exactly. You know, so Craig, fuck you. you know, the, <laughs> if, if only, if only uh, you did more, you know, during Bible studies in, you know, uh, Sunday school, you know, reading out loud. But, I never had to do that. They you know, never, they never asked me to read it exactly. Out loud. You had to. You got it. I mean, once once you can get good reading out loud from the Bible, then you, it's really great. So you can be all like, one evening David got up from his bed and walked around on the roof of the palace. From the roof, he saw nah, a woman bathing. Wrong. The woman was very beautiful, and David said, "So when I feel to like find her. I feel like the Bible needs to be read in extremely monotone voice." Uh, yeah. More of a David Attenborough type reading. Yeah. But he's not monotone. He's just... He's really good. He's good. He's way good. That'd be a good production. That'd be... That'd be really good. Uh, the, it's too David bad he's, he's dying. Yeah. Well, he, yeah. I it's mean, he's too had, bad. He's but, had cancer for a long time, I guess, but... But he's also... He's also fucking old. Lived a life. Yeah. Oh, dude, the Planet Earth stuff, so good. He's so oh, fucking it's, good. It's amazing. He's, he's, he's Yeah, fantastic. David Attenborough is 93 years old. Oh, yeah. It's like, well, everyone has cancer once you hit 90. It's like, something's cancerous here. Yeah, once you once you get past the 75 mark, you're like, you're, you've won the lottery. Yeah. Of yeah. life. I think it's at 80, you basically have like almost 100% chance as a male to have uh, prostate cancer. Yeah. It's like... And it's probably just because no one lives that long. I mean, we do now, but, you know, for a long time, we didn't live that long. And so I wonder if the ones who did, it's just like, oh, well, now I have prostate cancer. And it's like a really high amount. I don't want to say it's 100% because that sounds ridiculous, but right. maybe just everyone maybe everyone just gets it and no one talks about it because it's like, yeah, yeah. But anyways. It's gone. Um, regardless of it sounding like uh, he was reading off of a prompt. Um, yeah. We can decide whether... Or- whether this is a situation that he wrote, he wrote out just so he can ask us, or is it something he found somewhere to read online? Yeah, is this Yahoo Answers? You know, like, I honestly wouldn't mind if they just did that. They didn't have questions of their own, so they just like looked up Yahoo Answers. Funniest <laughs> Yahoo Answers. And then just fucking like, ask their questions that are on there. We could do that, too. Oh, my God. Yeah, we could. That could just be like... Dude, the segment where we read the, <laughs> the worst we, we don't have questions any questions on, on here, so we go find Yahoo Answers. <laughs> um... Anyways, cough syrup. Uh, so she's drinking it to get high, so she doesn't have to deal with her problems. Yeah, to deal with stress, cough syrup. I mean, like, how? Okay, number one, how old is she? Because I've heard of people abusing drugs for you know stress release, but uh, but never cough syrup. But I guess yeah. you know there's cough stuff syrup, in cough syrup. Cough syrup. Like I know that kids sometimes do that. Yeah, the only the only substance that I've like abused. Everybody can buy a cough syrup. Other than alcohol, was when I wrecked on my longboard a long time ago. Near the very end, I started to get, I started to get kind of attached to the pain pills. I was like, these the are opioids. Actually, yeah, they were. It was pretty nice. And the last day, I was like, you know what? 
I don't really have a headache because it's, dude, when you have a brain injury, you're, yeah. it's just horrible headaches. It's not migraine because it doesn't like fuck with your ability to see, but it's like some of the worst pain. Yeah. The only thing that was worse was when I had my wisdom teeth ripped out of my head. But that was only bad for like a day. And still, haven't never, still haven't done that. Yeah. Well, if they're not rotting, you don't have to. Right. And somehow we both have massive mouths. And yours, you just you just took care of your teeth better than I did. Yeah. Well, it was, so last time I went to the dentist um, was actually like a couple months ago, but I hadn't been to the dentist for almost three years before then. Yeah. And no cavities, no issues at all. Yeah. Last time I went, I didn't have any either. And they're like, oh, you're... Just a lot of stuff to, you know, tartar build up to clean off. Yeah. But other than that... It's so gross how fast it goes. My gums yeah. were great. My uh, teeth, no cavities, just got hard teeth, hard enamel. Yeah. Um, That's what I found out, too. They were like, oh, you're doing a pretty good job. And I'm like... Mm. So you I can figured, tell I uh, grind my teeth a lot, though. So. Yeah. I figure, I found out that I, it's not that I have bad teeth. I actually have really good teeth. I just don't yeah. take care of them the right way. Um, uh, yeah. And, I, uh, and if you drink coffee, you got to brush your teeth after. Like, it stains yeah. the fuck out I of I brush teeth my teeth there. three times a day, usually, and floss yeah. once to twice See, a I day. only I only do it once. But, like, for a while, it was like, you know. Well, since I live so close to work, I just go home for lunch. And after I'm done eating lunch, I just brush my teeth. Yeah, you live even closer to work than I do, don't you? Yeah. Uh, how f- yeah. fucking close are you again? Like Five-minute drive. Yeah. Depending on traffic. So, Chase says, uh, have sex more. I was going to say that, too. Yeah, I, that's another thing. But, you know, that's... He said she was a friend, so I don't know if that's an option. <laughs> it's like, you want to be fuck buddies? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean that tell is, her, that for, is for, for curative purposes. Yeah, tell her you know where the clitoris is, and then find it. <laughs> so you don't want to tell her that you know, and then like you don't know. Um, you know, sex is a good stress reliever, but it depends on if that's the kind of relationship for it. Otherwise, it could cause more stress. Yeah. Um, it's not. I mean, there is. You could just do a quick Google search again. There's a myriad of ways to relieve stress, but it also depends on the person as well if they really do want to solve their problems or if they're just looking for ways or excuses to not to not really solve their problem problems. And I have a friend or you know friends who do that. They have serious issues and they just complain about it. But it's just like they like to have those issues to complain about it. They don't they actually don't, want to fix. They don't want to fix it by going to like therapy or anything. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's always there's some, always an excuse, like always something to complain about. Yeah. I have no people always who, would, who would always just say something like, oh, well, therapy is just a scam. And, and so, then yeah. they uh, no, lean towards, you know, substances to help them sleep, to help them get over stress and stuff like that. Yeah. You know, teach their own. They live, they've chosen to live life that way. And it's hard when you do care about them, but it's not, it's not your place to tell them how to live their life. Yeah. And, um... It's just, you know, they got to figure out shit on their own sometimes. You can always be there to listen. You can always be there to offer advice. But sometimes they're not looking for someone to fix their life or their problems. Um, it's just a crutch that they can lean on. Yeah, some people don't want your help. They just want to be able to complain at you. But there is a so. point. If you do, uh, if you are concerned with their health and well-being, especially if they're abusing something that, you know, a substance that can, you know, in the long run really fuck them up, like cough syrup. You know, you can always just, uh, you know, it's telling on them, but, you know, if it's for their own good in the future, and that might damage your relationship with that person um, in the short term, but who knows what it turns out in the long run. Yeah. I mean, it might be the right thing to do. You never know. Yeah. So if you're their friend, you know how to get to them, hopefully, uh, know to discuss, you know, more helpful means. But once someone starts abusing a substance to... um, to treat something besides so you know there's people who drink alcohol and have fun and there's people who drink alcohol to hide from their issues in life and certain types of person when they abuse a substance are more likely to become addicted to it because of what they're searching for to hide from their problem um and it sounds like your friend might be leaning more towards that so I don't know. I don't yeah. know your friend. Don't know your situation, but I'd probably recommend alcohol instead of cough syrup too. It's a little more <laughs> socially acceptable <laughs> to be an alcoholic than to, uh, and, than to get high off cough syrup. Yeah, it's like yeah, you know, it's it's still kind and of. And again, the same. because it's cough but, syrup, I I, I, mean, I would again, recommend a harder drug. Questioning, <laughs> yeah. questioning the age group of this said, individual. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I I've gotten high 
Oh, it's more like drunk on yeah. cough syrup before. There was a day I, I was working and like I just I was had a horrible cough and like I just kept down and then I would just grab it and like just take a swig and I'd go back to work and then like later during that day I was like, Man, I am I feel like I'm drunk right now. And then I looked at the cough syrup bottle and it was like completely empty and I was like, Oh, well that's great. I just fucking no, cough syrup too though, it does more than just give you that drunken feeling, which is good, but also it does give you kind of a feel good effect as well. Yeah. I mean, cough syrup, I can't remember what the ingredient was in it, but if anyone's seen Breaking Bad, you know that they would use cough syrup to, as a starter to help make meth as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um I don't know. I I I cough syrup is such such a weird thing to get to like drink a lot of. It's so gross. Like I don't understand. I mean, I don't mind the flavor. Yeah, but I mean, like, wouldn't you rather have, like, fucking Fireball whiskey or no, something like that? No, no, I don't like Fireball. What happened to your love what? of Fireball? Like, I never, I, so Fireball was one of the first things I got drunk off of, and ever since then, I can't stand that fake cinnamon taste, mm. and from there on, only the purest of whiskeys. Whiskey is drink. good just by itself, though, so yeah. you don't need it to be Fireball. It's already pretty, yeah, I don't pretty like spicy. And I, I never, ever really liked Sambuco. Just too thick. See, now you're just attacking. Too me. syrupy. <laughs> too sweet. It is all of those things. It's true, but it's so good. <laughs> it's so. It's good in small tests. It's black licorice to a T, man. It's, uh, it's wonderful. If, you, if you've ever had like a really syrupy soda, drinking Sambuca is just like. Uh, like if you if you've ever had a steel port. You can't you can't have anything that's like really syrupy ever again. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Um, oh, Chase asks how long your beard is. Oh, um, I don't have my glasses on, so the monitor is just too far away for me have, to see clearly. Why do you have the chat in such a tiny little corner? I don't know. Bring up the bigger chat. I don't know how long my beard is. I would say probably two inches now. Well, there you go. Um, so what else did he say? I, I, another troll said stop eating. Can't do that. Uh, yeah, chest hair, Chase. Yeah. I do got a decent amount. Yeah, we're all we're all hairy people here. Um, and then when I do get uh, my beard done, I do trim down the sides of my beard pretty good and straight. Um, and then if I'm going somewhere, um, then I'll do put a little bit of wax in it and then blow dry it straight. Otherwise, it just gets super poofy. Things yeah. you don't know about beards unless you grow a big one. It sounds like, oh, he's going to go all hipster and be super like high maintenance with his beard and stuff. But when you grow a huge beard, like just little things will make it look like a tangled fucking mess like a homeless guy would have versus a well, nice groomed beard. And it's just like the little things you have to do yeah. to look like, especially if you go to a nine to five job. So. Yeah, it's, I mean, even mine, mine's kind of shitty, but, like, you still have to trim the sides and stuff, because yeah. it just brambles out. And so that's one major thing, if you do want to grow a beard. Um, if you don't know how to shape your beard, go to a barber who can, you know, teach you how to do it. But really, the biggest thing for me was, since I do want to grow length, is, you know, I have a bushy beard. It's very thick, so I have to trim down the sides to an acceptable length. Otherwise, it just looks crazy. Yeah. And it adds weight to your face if you do it. It does, right. yeah. If you don't do it right, you look fatter. Mm -hmm. um, I had to shave mine off because with the long hair, I started to look like Forrest Gump. And I was like, I can't do this. Like, <laughs> There was a moment where I was walking by the mirror and it looked like Forrest Gump at the end of the movie. And I was like, <laughs> I, that looks horrible. And I just shaved it all off. Yeah. Um, plus, my beard kind of sucks. So I'm not really attached. Uh, but even mine, like, yeah, you got you to gotta keep a trim on the side. So you got to do the style and stuff yeah no i like it um if you do have decide to uh, grow a big beard and grow it out um be just be prepared for people to start noticing you all the time it's definitely not something you do and then blend into the crowd type of thing yeah yeah just so you know yeah. But that's kind Cameron. of been a thing for <laughs> me my whole life. famous though. now that he's got his beard. No, not just famous, just like, uh, but again, my it's, whole life I've had people always comment on my appearance, especially my eyes and stuff like that. Yeah. Well, now you don't even notice it. Back when Joe well, you was like you trying know. to, you know, be super fashionable, he told me that one of the videos was like claiming that 
you need something that makes your face more memorable, and either one would be like we're having glasses, or uh, and then he started wearing fake having, glasses for or a while. having a beard, and it's like one of those two things. So yeah, people will notice your face more if you have glasses or if you have a beard. Yeah. So that's that's what he's talking about. Is like he gets a little bit more attention because of that. Hmm. There you go. Because he sticks out a little. But then, even as a little kid, it's just you know. People always have to comment because when you have something that stands out, you know, people feel obliged to comment on it. I remember back as a kid standing in the grocery uh, aisle and this Hispanic lady in the back say, you know, saw me and was like, that, that dude's going to do some terrible things in his life. Basically saying I was of the devil. So. Oh, nice. Because oh, of my eyes. So. It's just, just something I've lived with my whole life. Yeah, you're just going to be the devil <laughs> one day. And then, uh, you know, in middle school, that was the cool thing. So when little kids would notice my eyes, like, oh, what happened? I'm like, me llamo Diablo. <laughs> <laughs> me go at her. Uh, damn it, no. I'm trying to remember in Spanish, not Estonian. Um, me perro come tortugas. <laughs> Which is something I thought would be super funny to tell a kid as I'm walking my mom's dog. And the kid just looked at me funny. Because it's me, mi perro come tortugas, just as my dog eats turtles. <laughs> yeah, I was like, And so the kid looked at me. He's like, Is this dude like feeding his dog turtles? Like, just chopping up turtles and feeding them to his dog? Like,. You know, in the moment, I thought it was some fucking people, hilarious. But some, some people think turtle is a devil. <laughs> yeah, Cameron needs the. Uh, it, it, it came Cam's dog is sensitive taste buds. <laughs> Cameron needs the sailor hat, the sailor jacket, and a huge pipe. That's what he needs. Yeah, and see, that's the thing too. I'm not going for the, you know, the Yukon Cornelius slash, you know, Santa Claus look. I'm just going for an epic long beard. Maybe I need to grow my hair out too yeah, and do yeah. the whole uh, man bun thing to see if that goes over well. Yeah. You go on Merlin, is that what you're trying to do? Is like have a super long old man beard? No, just like a good, I don't know. That's how what, that's how what far you gotta, am I going to go? I think what, I'm going to go top of the chest. I think that's where I'm going to cut you got, it. You got to prep for the, like, the super long. Yeah, I mean, the beard as beard. it is already gets in the way of stuff. Yeah, it starts getting in the way pretty early. No, like, like, I just noticed the other day, like, doing normal stuff, like, um, like putting your head somewhere or cuddling and stuff like that, your beard now gets in the way of shit. Yeah. And also, if you're not very meticulous when you eat, you get stuff in your beard and you don't even notice, and nothing looks more stupid than a guy with fucking crumbs in his beard. Yeah. Yeah, it's a you lot. don't even feel it. It's like, it's like having a bib on all the time. If you're not careful. Yeah, it's a bib that does the same things that a bib does, but you don't want it to do those things. Yeah. Yeah, it's annoying, but, you know, it's the price you pay. It's the price yeah. you pay. <sighs> so what do you guys want to do for, uh, what do you guys want to do for 2020? Like, what's the, what's the objective? So are we talking about the show, 2020? Yeah, yeah. Because okay. Craig doesn't like doing goals on the show, but. I feel can- like. Again, I do want to bring back at least somewhat having goals again and letting our listeners know. Because in a small way, you know, having someone keep you accountable to goals is great. And then having, you know, just talking about your goals with friends and stuff like that, just so it's on your mind, it's on their mind. And I just feel being able to talk to our listeners about it and letting them know that we're focusing on progressing our lives might make it easier for them to start making goals and maybe do some stuff alongside of us. Um, so I do like it. I don't think we should do it every week. Um, we can, you know, and, you know, the After Dark can now evolve with us and we can include elements of the show we had before, like getting fat. And then also try to bring back, um, like Caleb said, a podcast that we tried to start, but then failed. But then just amongst us three. But again, extend an invitation out to our listeners to join us. Yeah, I suppose we could do that. Yeah. And so, bringing back elements of getting fat, and then the pseudo intellectuals book club. I don't want to call it that though. Why not? Joe's name? Nah, that was Joe's name. Why? Why? Why are you so? Why are you so anti Joe? I'm not anti Joe. No, you kind of are. You're just like oh, I could never come back. I could never do this. It's like you just. He, did he hurt you? Did he hurt you for the last time? 
That's yeah. what happened, Greg. Well, I think you heard him for I the no last longer, time when he kicked him I out. No, I, no longer, <laughs> yeah. I no longer have somebody to watch like kung fu movies and samurai movies with, so that is kind of a bummer. Yeah. So yeah. Is, that, is that why you, you've, you've ostracized him? You, he's no longer part of your life because he... Yeah. You fucked up. Yeah. Fucked up by moving. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we could do that. I think we should try to do that. Um, maybe next week we can do, we can talk about like what we want to do with the year, um, where we want to go, and then we can kind of do like maybe a monthly update on that and see yeah. where we're at. And so it gives us time to store up some questions for us to talk about as well. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of serves multiple purposes uh, when it comes to the show itself. Um, different segments to make it a little, a little different each week. And then also more questions from you guys. So I think it'll be good. That'll that'll be what we're going to do for 2020 um, for After Dark at the very least. And going to be doing some changes on Nude Clan too, but you guys probably already heard that because this is going to come out after that. But so, you know, yeah, I guess keep up on keeping up or whatever the fuck, fuck that yeah. Craig does. Yeah. You going to actually set some real goals, Craig? We literally talked about this before, but you never. But you didn't say anything. You just. I mean, he did say he. Okay, yeah. I guess he did kind of talk about, um, kind of a goal he wanted to do. I'll let him. Oh, that's true. That's true. And I think that's a suitable goal. There is one, and it wasn't keeping up on keeping on. I mean, it's keeping up about. It's keeping up on keeping up, Schweiss. I thought it was keeping. You're gonna quote me? At least quote me correctly. It's it's, but this time it's actually keeping up on keeping down. Or alive, uh, or alive. Yeah, that, w- that, w- yeah. that would be a much better uh, keeping up on keeping alive. Yeah, yeah. So that's I mean, how <laughs> we talked around it, Craig. I mean, you might as well come out and talk about it if you want to. I mean, if you're gonna actually stick well, to if it, if we're not gonna talk about our goals today, then there's yeah. no point. Unless you want to, uh, we could. No, I need some time to because I just have an idea of, to of a goal, twice. and I need to actually plan my goal and so our first episode of 2020 would yeah. be good for need it. to write it down <laughs> yeah yeah so i got this gay ass planner here because <laughs> joe joe said he started doing using a planner and he got way more organized and i was like oh, i could probably do that is i could gay? i could use some organization yeah, but joe's annual retentive it, enough is, to keep up on a planner and i can see you using it for a month and a half and forgetting about it yeah, maybe. Uh, it is a uh, it is a chick planner. I didn't notice this. I was looking at it and I what was do you like, mean "It's a chick planner." Well, I got one. It was Hold just on, black see. and it had like the year, and I was like, "Oh, that's kind of nice." <laughs> but then I was flipping through it one day and I was like, "Man, this the the pages have like a okay, kind of yeah, a yeah." It's got like a little flower print inside. Yeah, and see, I didn't open the first page. I just opened it up in the middle, uh, and I was like, "Oh, it looks fine." Wow. Okay. Yeah. Don't look at those goals. <laughs> Uh, the first one I saw was pretty funny. <laughs> yeah. Are those going to be goals you're going to talk uh, about? That was the first thing I saw. Okay, okay. Right there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, he did talk to us about that already. I so. know, yeah. but like, the way he puts it in the yearly goals. Is I like, mean, would you expect any less? Yeah, no. But uh, And, I, and yeah. I was like, you know, it looks kind of nice. It's black. It's small. It works. And I opened up the pages. And I was like, oh, yeah, it's got some space on each day. This will be fine. And then I was going through it, and I was like, man, the pages have like kind of a pink tone to them. It's like a weird, like, light, I think very, you're very overly light concerned about pink. Well, I don't know about the pages. The orientation itself. of your planner. No, and then I looked at the, I looked, and I saw the front, and I was like, oh, there's like weird little things in it. And then I, I, I looked at the back of it, and look what the back says. No, like the back page. Like, not the back page. Does it but say the, live, laugh, love? No, Jesus Christ, no. The, yeah, look the, there. Then I oh, saw that. Okay. Cupcakes and cashmere. Yeah, and then I was like, oh, man, this is a chick's planner. And I was like, fuck, I already bought it, though. <laughs> and I already bought it, and I already wrote I stuff mean, in it. cupcakes and cashmere. I mean, you know, that could be for everybody, but I'm pretty sure it's not. So that was fun. Uh, so now I've got a, a chick's planner for the whole year, and I I don't know. I, I The thing I like about it the most is that it has, 2020, like, the... 2020, the year Schweiss gets more in touch with his feminine side. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> His aggressive feminine side. Yeah. <laughs> I like that it has a spot for the yearly goals, though, and you can keep track of it. Um, there's a bunch of stuff I want to do, and I hopefully can 
discipline myself enough to do it, but we'll talk about those next week when you guys have a little more time to mm-hmm. kind of plan it out. Because, I mean, it's a, you know, a lot of people make them and a lot of people break them, but I think we should really try to to do ones that we can do and do ones that will really impact our lives in a positive way. Yeah. You know? Yep. Um, and having it on the show and being able to hold each other accountable is a really great way to uh, way to make sure it happens. So I'm excited to get into the new year and talk about some of that stuff. But I think that's going to be it for us this week. You guys got anything else? You good? No, I'm good. No. Um, yeah. So we're going to, you know, tell you more about what we plan to do the show starting 2020 and start in at, and on it. And, you know, with the hog league and other stuff like that, um, I feel like having a way for you guys to join would be great. Yeah. Yeah. We can look into doing something like that. Yep. But, uh, All right, guys, thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you guys next time.